If thousands of extra people are in town this weekend, it's because the MotoGP event is happening at the Circuit of the Americas. Yes, yeah, sport bike racing is not only extremely popular all over Europe, but right here in Austin, there is a huge following. Kate Whitehall's live for us at the Circuit of the Americas track this morning with your details. Hi. Hey, good morning. You know, you not only have your professional riders out here, but then you also have your street freelance riders who do all sorts of crazy tricks out here. And even uh, this guy who's coming in right here behind me really, really fast. This is Aaron Colton. He is going to be out here. a uh, trick rider who can do all sorts of things. He is actually, they tell us, at the highest level of being able to operate these types of bikes. Woo! Oh, wow. Work the brakes and to be able to lift up the bike in the way he does. He's showing, obviously, a couple moves that he's able to do. And he's going to be showing these off here at Coda tonight at 7 o'clock if you want to actually come out and check him out. And he's going to be in Austin all weekend long. But he's 22 years old, and he's been riding for many, many years to be able to learn how to do all these sorts of things. And I'm just going to step on back. Wow, that's some precision to be able to stop on that fast. Hey, Aaron, can we talk? Woo! Hey, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> so how long have you been riding? Uh, I've been riding now for about 19 years. Oh my goodness. And uh, eight of which have been on a freestyle bike. So <laughs> it's been uh, it's been an awesome experience. <laughs> how did you learn how to do all these things? Um, trial and error and a lot of it. So, but I think overall I've been pretty safe, but it's just been a lot of practice, just, just like you'd see on anything else. Well, you, you're out of breath. So, I mean, the, riding these types of bikes, I understand, it requires a lot of muscle, a lot of, you know, being able to really control everything. I mean, it's definitely physical. A lot of people think that motorsports is something that you just hop on and you get to ride. And uh, it's one of those things you definitely have to manage your time and you do have to train for. And it's it's a sport, just like anything else you need to train and be in shape for. So, just like anything else. Well, so how do you wind up going up on one wheel? And, I mean, you stop on a dime right next to my photographer. <laughs> uh, it's just, you know, it's one of those things, just like if you're going to ask someone how they how they catch a pass in football, it's the same type of deal. It's just try, it just practice and practice and practice to the utmost point of precision, and then eventually you get to the point that you just saw right there. And so where can people check you out this weekend here in Austin? Uh, they can see me at the Austin Speed Shop tonight at 7, today Friday, and then I'll also be riding on track on uh, Saturday and Sunday in the early afternoon around 11 o'clock. So I'm really, really excited to be here at COTA with Red Bull for the... Uh, for the Austin MotoGP, but yeah, tonight we'll have an awesome event at the Austin Speed Shop at 7, which is going to be really cool, so it's going to be a little bit more uh, approachable event and kind of get to really, really see myself on an up, up and close live demo. So come come stop by that, or if not, I'll see you at the track this weekend. That's so cool. And any advice for somebody who's wanting to ride a sport bike? I know a lot of people are really into these type of motorcycles. I think that one of the biggest things is you don't necessarily need to jump the gun. Like There's a lot of times when uh, people think that to do what I do, you need a bike just like mine, or you need a thousand, or you need some big displacement bike. But there's a learning curve to everything, and I, even I started out on smaller bikes. Awesome. Well, you are pretty darn incredible. Thank you so much yeah, for joining us you. this morning. We certainly appreciate it. And by the way, the MotoGP is happening out here at Coda today through Sunday. Tickets start at $39 if you want to check it out. And we have more information on our website, kxan.com. But how about that? <laughs> <laughs> my heart was wow. beating so fast for you when he was that close to you. Uh, thank goodness my microphone was down. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know I have to, you know, watch what you say, too, um, at the same time. But yeah, I mean, so incredible. He was, I could yeah. feel the wind right next to us. Yeah. And, you know, he said he's been doing this for 19 years, Kate, and you have to know that that comes with a lot of. Uh, has he been injured before? I mean, just have you been shrinks? injured before at all? They're wondering. Yeah, there's definitely been a couple injuries. It's impossible to get to the point that I'm at without any injury, that's for sure. How many times have you broken a bone, though? <laughs> More than I have. I don't know. It's been quite a few. I haven't tried to keep count of it, but it's definitely been a couple, and it's not something I try to tally for pride. It's something I try to push away and stay away from. <laughs> of course, of course. It makes sense. But Sally, you and I are both moms. Can you imagine the <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> it was the mom and Mio saying, slow down, Aaron. <laughs> I know. Hey, right, Kate. Kate and Aaron. And then right after MotoGP this weekend, we have the X Games that are coming in June. I can't take it. And no, I can't. They're, they're the ones that do all the flips in the air. It is yeah. amazing. No. I